consider weapons for a second. Now, um, I've said many times that uh, you shouldn't base your self-defense on simply having a weapon. Um, and I want to go further into that. A weapon can't replace training. A weapon can't re replace knowledge. A weapon can't replace good tactics. Without those three things in hand, some little melee weapon is not going to help you. If you don't have good pugilistic skills, good wrestling skills, good fighting skills, um, a weapon can be more of a detriment than a blessing. Now, here in Canada, um, having a gun is not really an option for self-defense. So we're, we're left with options such as knives, um, blunt impact weapons, etc. And for the most part, if you're using that kind of stuff, um, the, you're gonna look kind of crazy in the eyes of law enforcement. I'm not saying don't use that stuff, but what I am saying is understand the repercussions that might come if you use that stuff. And don't make that stuff the basis of your self-defense. Make good skill, good pugilistic skills, good wrestling skill, good striking skill, the basis of your physical self-defense skills. Keep in mind, self-defense skills are not just hard skills. They're understanding how to be assertive, it's understanding of boundaries, and stating your boundaries, being strong about your boundaries. These kinds of things are more important for your personal protection than being able to throw a hard right cross. Sometimes the ability to fight gives you the gift of being able to bargain with confidence. Meaning that when you're being assertive about your boundaries, you know that you have a good right cross to back you up. So you're more able to assert your boundaries strongly. And sometimes that's very important.